I'm about to watch Raw. I'm actually 13 minutes away from the show airing, and that that's where I make my one or two tweets to make. And the people that actually follow me on Twitter remember I still exist. And one thing I wanted to get on my chest was the fact that I wasn't satisfied with the blog posts I made of uh, jumping on a Jewish question around May or June. Now the blog was actually, I actually liked the blog post. What I didn't like was the fact that I don't think I really answered a question. I said uh, that the Jewish question wasn't that big of a deal and these were people that had a pathology of oppression or shit like that. Basically, what I said was just a bunch of assertions, a bunch of platitudes. And there wasn't really a big solution or something Hitler like that. So I wasn't really jumping into the Jewish question. I was making a mere prelude. I didn't even know it. I guess the big reason why I wasn't so worried is that People are so gung-ho about the Jewish question, about how much they're a threat or how much they're not a threat, even if they're pro-everything Jewish. Even if they have bagels up their ass, they still find a way to not worry about, to, to worry about the shit it's like Jews. Like, if you even say the name Jew in a condescending manner that your life is going to be over, that your family is all going to be written in the death notes and plunged deep into an eternity in the lowest pits of hell or that the person is just going to think of you and you're going to instantly vanish and history will erase your existence and uh, basically there will be a new home space time, time continuum that's not going to happen nigga my brain's hurting just thinking about that possibility. No, really, uh, just like we're dealing with an inter-white issue in the United States and in the whole world, there's an inter-Jew issue. You'll notice that there are conspiracies that are pro-Israel, there's conspiracies that are against Israel, and they're both run by Jews, or there's conspiracies against whites, like Hollywood, where white guys are always the bad guy in a way, and then there's one that are pro-white, yet they're pro-Jew at the same time. These um, the American Renaissance is a good example. <laughs> I remember Jared. Yeah, I think Jared Taylor's kind of in. David Duke said some shit about a group that's running the world, and he's not supposed to say it. And then the Jewish guys get pissed and say he's a fucking Nazi. I keep in mind he's getting called a Nazi in a white nationalist convention, so that's like good irony right there. So. Destroying the anti-racist is anti-white mantra. That's okay, but getting a little skeptical on Jews, no, that's that's bullshit. That's evil and racist. So I can understand why people would be paranoid. Even in the fringiest of fringe, you're not supposed to do that. Moldbug, as a Jew, is half Jew. Is scared of getting into the Jewish question too much. And then you got the Mises Institute, and that's a whole basket case in and of itself. But the Mises Institute, as kikey as it is, and yes, I use that word on YouTube, it's not as fucking bad as, let's say, the Federal Reserve that they're complaining against. So this inter-Jewish war proves that what we're dealing with isn't just a race war or a religious war. This is something that's reaching political magnitudes that I haven't found a word in English language to describe. What is this? 
Well, I guess it's a war based on pure politics. That's the closest I could think of. Anyway, I'm about to watch this raw shit. Uh, I wish I could do something like. Remember, I had like the blue screens and the green screens and the red screens when I didn't want to show my face or stuff like that. I should probably do that since I'm not focusing on lighting too much right now. Uh, this is Mr. Walker 7 and stay true to yourselves.